west to northeast. That has slowed in this particular instance because this storm is trying to organize. So it's not necessarily moving, but sitting here spinning right near Tipton. So primarily we're looking near and just west and southwest of Tipton. The warning obviously is at least anticipating some eastward or northeastward move side of town, north side of town. As we always say, we're talking about a storm shelter if you have one. If not, we want to be on the first floor, the lowest floor of the building or the structure that you are in, close to the ground, obviously, not on the second floor. You want to be in a small room toward the center of the building. That's a bathroom or a closet or a hallway that has as many walls between you and the outside as possible. That gives you more protection from debris. The small room structural in room where there is less holding up the roof. That small room has the studs closer together. If it's a bathroom, it has some pipes. Then you also want to get something to cover up your head. We talk about often getting the couch cushions or some pillows from the bed. One of the things that is great is bicycle helmets, especially for the kids. So once again, that's storm shelter if you have one. Small room on the first floor, the lowest floor of the building toward the center of the building. This is an active tornado warning situation. You want to be with no windows in that room and you want to have something to cover up your head. So again, here's the tornado warning and Kevin for Tillman County. Go ahead, Brian. We're getting word from the, the chatter chat on National Weather Service that this is going to be coming very close to the community of Tipton. Okay. Uh, Spotter now reporting the wall cloud with funnel halfway to the ground, just two miles south of Tipton. And again, the storm is moving east, so hopefully it'll stay a little far away, but okay. very close to Tipton. Thank you, Brian. Let's go to radar scope then, and let's take a minute to zoom down on this on the Velocity product right here. Let's go close in if we can, Eric. Eric Johnson running the radar. We're looking at a couple of things. Here's Tipton right here, so south of Tipton. And if you would just pull it south just a little bit, I want to get this bow echo here. What we're seeing here is a bit of a wrapping going on. So see the motion on here. So near Tipton, especially if you're just south or southeast of Tipton, this is going to be straight line winds right here. Okay, that's going to be possibly 60, 70 mile an hour straight line winds, and it'll persist once that little boundary hits. But right here, is the rotation that the spotters are talking about. Not real well defined, not real strong just yet, but go ahead and pause it right there at the end. Just on the southwest side of Tipton, right there, that's where we're talking about the tornadic rotation. But let's not forget, south of town, don't take this lightly. We're going to get a strong gust of wind right here, and we certainly have things called gust nados. I don't see one indicated necessarily right here, but a brief spin up tornado will sometimes happen on one of these little bowing gust fronts. And this bow right here, see the angle shape? What that's indicating is the winds right behind that, especially in the middle, are extremely strong. So again, we're going to find some wind gusts or straight line winds to 60, possibly 70 miles per hour. The winds are higher or faster, higher up. We go a couple hundred feet, even a couple of thousand feet up. But the updraft and downdraft movement can transport some of that energy to the ground, and that's what we're seeing right there. Again, that rotation is just on the west side or southwest side of Tipton. We're trying to get some sort of motion on here. Let me put my finger right there. You can see that's where it ends up. So it does have a little bit of an eastward movement to it. So if that thing decides it wants to go all the way to the ground, it looks like it's going to go right through Tipton. So obviously under a tornado warning, you want to be in your safe place there. Let's go ahead and take a regional view. Let's go back to the weather computer just for a minute and we'll take a regional view and go to, uh, yeah, thanks. What we're looking at and waiting is some of this activity a little later on tonight or this afternoon into the evening hours and this as well. The main lift, the main instability is right here, so we're not done with this. This cluster of showers and thunderstorms is going to come from southwest to northeast across the region and the tornado threat is going to be fairly high. There are some limiting factors. We've talked about the cap through the afternoon. We had some cloud cover as well. That may help us a little bit, but but I just want you to know that this is going to come through a little later on, late afternoon into the evening hours. If we have, I think up toward the top of that is the tornado watch area. Pretty much all of the uh, the region is under a tornado watch. The extreme eastern counties not included, but still with a threat for some severe weather. But that tornado watch is in effect until midnight tonight. So once again, we have a current tornado warning in effect. We can go back to the ESP radar if we can. Tornado warning in effect near Tipton. And what's the end time on that again, Brian? Uh, the entire oh, there it is right there, 545. So fairly small, given again that it's not had a lot of movement to it. The rotation here just on the west, southwest side of Tipton, it is moving in an easterly direction. So anywhere in and around Tipton, we want to go ahead and be in our safe place. In fact, I think I saw that graphic up at the top of that show is a tornado preparedness graphic. We'll yes. go through this again for the folks in Tipton. We're talking about the shelter, a shelter if you have one. If not, you want to be on the lowest floor of the building that you're in. Put as many walls between you and the outside. Don't bother with opening the windows. Don't bother with opening the doors. That's a long out 
outdated guidance that was given many, many years ago talking about equalizing pressure in the building. That doesn't matter. If the tornado is going to come to your building, the winds and that twisting itself will tear up that building. So the pressure is not a concern. So we don't want to bother with anybody getting hit by glass or fooling with the doors or anything like that. Just leave those all closed. Be in the center of the building. It's a small room with no windows and then something can cover up your head. You can get the kids in the bathtub like that, put their bicycle helmets on, get some of the sofa cushions or pillows and stay there in and around Tipton until we give you the all clear. That tornado warning is going to go for a long time in and around that Tipton area because of the slow movement of that storm. Let's go back to the radar if we can. And Brian, if you have any information from the chat, would you share that with us? Uh, we're not getting anything new out of the Norman uh, National Weather Service chat that we can report. We're getting unconfirmed, not for media information right now. So I'm hoping some of this will become confirmed in the next few minutes and then we can pass it along. OK, thanks very much. How about we go back to radar scope? What's the end time on that warning again? I know you've told me twice. 545. Already. 545. I'll remember it this time. OK, here's radar scope. This is reflectivity. This is rainfall. What we've been talking about here is this developing line or this line that sort of what we would refer to as unzipping. These storms started up here and then these new cells, these new updrafts are developing right here and that's going to create repeated heavy raining thunderstorm cells with hail going over the same areas. We had some reports in Kroll earlier and maybe in just a bit we'll show those pictures uh, of at least quarter size hail, maybe some close to tennis ball size hail in Kroll. That cell is the part of this cluster now, but new ones are going to continue to develop and that means we're going to go over the same areas over and over again. So if you get hail in your area, it gives up. Do know that there may be another cell coming behind that one. This boundary right here, hey, I Kevin, would say that's the dry line. Go ahead, Brian. You were talking about that, that may be the dry line, but to just turn your attention a little further west. Yeah. Uh, not a warning, but a significant weather advisory for eastern Childress County. Okay, eastern. So this, these, that's a couple of clusters of cells have gone through and they have not reached the criteria for a warning, which is one inch hail and or winds to 58 miles an hour or greater, but they're close issuing that uh, or prompting that severe th or the uh, the uh, significant weather advisory. So this line, as you can see on the motion, going to go up toward Hollis and Mangum. So much of the western part of Oklahoma going to be under the gun for some time as well. Stronger storms well to our southwest, but those are going to move in. That's part of that cluster in between Abilene and Midland that I mentioned as well. Why don't we go back down close to our warned storm, get a check on that with the velocities if we can, and then we'll look at the hail also. A little notch right in there, that notch, that's that little inflow notch right in there. Oh, let's go down right here. Okay, this is interesting. We've got broad rotation. Again, red and green is wind and raindrops moving toward the green or away from the radar site, which is right here in Frederick. So we're interpreting broad rotation here, but the real tight spot right there See how that washed out. Now there's another slot trying to develop right there in the same spot, which is just on the east side of Tipton, but not real well organized. Probably not a tornado on the ground, but still that potential. But now we've talked about this bow echo right here. That's going to be some strong winds. See how it's brighter green at the beginning. It's turning a little darker as it moves southeast of Tipton on toward Manitou and just northwest of Frederick. All right, Very Kevin, strong winds. Go ahead, Eric. Kevin, we have uh, some new video coming in or a live stream from Sean Cobb out of Perfect. Elmer. If we can go ahead and switch over to that video source, um, we have that going on. This is from our partners or our, our Chase partners Severe with Severe Studios. Studios. Yep. If we can get that video popped up. Okay, if we can let us know in, in, the, uh, in our ears when you have that, we're going to continue to talk about this. Okay, here, here again, this bow echo right here, this is what we're seeing on the reflectivity as opposed to, you got to go on ahead, put it up. Okay, here's, where is this again, Eric? This is near Elmer. Okay, looks like the video is frozen right now, but you can obviously see it's not a nice day. We've got, there we go, now we got it in motion. Okay, so what we're looking at here, we have Sean Cobbs on the phone. Sean, can you hear me? Yes, I can, sir. Where, where exactly are you? Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are right in the town of Tipton, Oklahoma right now. What, what direction are you driving right now? We are driving to the east. Driving to the east. Okay, so that's, that circulation is likely behind you. Is that correct? And you're looking at part of the anvil there out ahead of you. It, it actually looks like the circulation is just right in front of us. And I, I was listening to your discussion, and I think you're correct. Uh, there is some broad rotation, broad rotation that we're seeing right now, but we're not seeing anything on the ground. 
Okay, very good. So we are getting these little lowerings there. We can see that picture right in the center. These, these, these are more scud looking, would you say, Chris, or are this as opposed to a persistent wall cloud type rotation? Uh, Sean, I'm sorry. Right. Uh, yeah, Kevin, uh, I think you're exactly right. Right now, it's just still trying to organize, and we're seeing a, a lot of scud, some upward motion. I am not seeing any rapid rotation at this time. Okay, so maybe we could look for some sort of a gust NATO there, but I think you're on that, that leading edge of that outflow boundary. I assume you're looking at radar as well and probably the velocities. You're, on the, yeah. you're, you're just behind that leading edge heading toward it, correct? That is correct. Okay, Sean, stay with us, please. We'll come back to you in just a minute if we still have your signal. Okay, sir. Okay, thanks. Let's go back to radar scope, and we'll talk about what he was talking about right there. He is heading out east of Tipton. The heaviest part of that thunderstorm cell right there, that heavy, that leading edge of that strong gusty wind area is just on the east side of Tipton. That's moving in this direction, but as he indicated, there's some lowerings there, and we may see again what's caused, what's what, what maybe called a little gust NATO trying to form there. I'm sorry, in my ear, tell me again about radar scope. Okay, let's go ahead and take that, and we'll talk about that rotation. Here's Tipton. Here's where Sean was right here. There may still yet be some rotation just behind him. That's the really favored location. Yeah, it was briefly there. See right there, and then it kind of weakened a little bit. So that's the favored location there. We'll continue to watch that. He's looking out east, and this is this is that little shelf that he was under with these lowerings right here. So that's going to start to weaken a little bit. We don't see any broad rotation or any tight wrapping of this right here. So we'll watch that, but again, that's going to go toward Manitou. I think you can still see in Manitou and north of Frederick, maybe a wind gust to 30 or 40 miles per hour. Back behind it, again, this, this, this compressing air, this falling air is going to create some brief gusty chaotic winds, uh, possibly in any direction, which again could go to 30 or 40 miles per hour. But the real tight rotation, now let's go up here, let's go to the top of the warning there. Do you see this, Eric? You want to go close in and maybe comment on that? Yeah, just north of the warning where that little box is for the tornado warning until 545. Yeah. Go ahead and um, pause it and you, you finish. And just I'll looking right comment. here. Yeah. yeah, it looks like some broad rotation, nothing significant at the moment, um, just north of that warning area. But again, like you were mentioning, as far as this area that I'm outlining right there, that's going to be the more significant uh, straight line wind gust coming out from that gust front or from that downdraft of the thunderstorm. But also noticing a uh, little area of brighter greens right there that I just circled. That would also be some stronger winds to, just to the north of Tipton as well. So the whole area, at least, there is a strong wind potential with the whole thunderstorm. And then, of course, the the rotation in general does not look as impressive. It doesn't mean that it's any less dangerous. Though. Yeah, let's stop it and then talk about this for a minute because this is, this is the benefit of Doppler radar. What we're doing with this Doppler radar is looking several thousand feet up into the thunderstorm and saying, okay, what are the winds doing? And so we see this broad rotation right here. We've got raindrops going toward, right here we've got raindrops going away. What we're looking for in a tornadic rotation is for this to tighten up from pixel to pixel. We call that gate to gate shear. Very broad right now, but that's a signal. Hey, thunderstorm is trying to maybe organize and tighten that rotation. So we keep an eye on that. The National Weather Service does as well. Then they get reports from the spotters on the ground. Is there a wall cloud developing? Is there a lowering? Is there a funnel cloud? So not threatening right here north of Tipton, but this is the benefit of Doppler radar to be able to look in here and see early signs of that rotation, which may, now we got a new image there, I think may try and tighten up a little bit. So here's some of that wind going back toward or away from, and now we're going to try and tighten it up right in here. And Kevin, so we do have some information ahead, coming in on chat. Uh, multiple topics here for, uh, talking about Tipton. We're getting reports of golf ball, golf ball size hail just to the west of Tipton, multiple reports of that. Uh, we also have reports of 50 mile per hour winds one mile west of Tipton here in the past couple of minutes. And also we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. This is, goes into effect for Comanche, Jackson, Kiowa and Tillman counties until 6 p.m. So 45 minutes left on this warning for winds to 60 miles an hour, uh, an hour and hail to 1.75 inches. Very good, thank you, Brian. Now that we're a little wider out, we can see the dry line right here. The dew point temperature doesn't drop off really fast west of the dry line, but this is slightly more stable air. Now you say, wait a second, there are thunderstorms west of that dry line. Kevin, yes, but yes, go ahead. The tornado warning for Tipton and Tillman County has been canceled. Okay, has been canceled. Okay. 
Let's indicate in the controller and let's get an indication to the newsroom that this has been canceled. So we're going to go to we're going to go back to a commercial break in just a minute or two. And then we either need to know if we need to continue with this or they'll go back into news programming. So that needs to happen fairly quickly because the tornado warning has been canceled. We'll go ahead and do a continuous analysis here and then take a break in just a minute. But in the control room, I need somebody to speak with the news department. Tell them the situation where we are right there. So I can also pass along, Kevin. Uh, uh, chat is reporting a wall cloud seen from Highway 183 just south of Manitou looking west. Okay. Uh, they said it's trying to become rain wrapped at this time. Rotation is broad but noticeable. Why don't you go back in if you would, Eric, and see if we can find that Manitou rotation. Is that what we were talking about just a minute, a minute or two ago? Uh, okay, so right here. I don't think that's what we were referring to there. It's obviously possible there could be another, and we don't know exactly where they're looking, so they could be looking back at this. See now here, it's not real tight, it's not real bright in here, but another indication, red next to green, that we could be looking at a little rotation. Maybe we could loop that one or two times here. Okay, not real well organized at this point. Why don't we switch on radar scope just to the hail indicators if we can real quickly. Broaden out, get a brief overview of what that is, and then we'll go to a commercial break since that uh, Tillman County tornado warning has been allowed to expire. Hail indicators in between Hedrick and Tipton, I'm going to assume moving in a northeasterly direction, yes. So Manitou to Snyder to Mountain Park. This is going to head in your area. We're going to get some light to moderate rain first, then heavier rain, and we could see ball, uh, golf ball to possibly tennis ball size hail within this white core that seems like it's starting to shrink just a little bit. That's an indication that maybe this hail is now falling out of this. So again, just west of Manitou, southwest of Snyder could be the largest hail right there, but that's going to continue to sort of drift its way to the northeast. Other hail cores here that Eric is circling near Chillicothe and south of Elmer, these are all going to go from southwest to northeast. Let's go back to the weather computer. Let's do this broad view one more time and then maybe the watch as well and then we'll go to a commercial break real quick. Here's the greatest lift coming across the Texas New Mexico border. This cluster that developed across uh, just east of Midland going to come across Texoma here over the next couple of hours. There are limiting factors in place. There are positive factors for severe weather in place. That's why let's take a look at the tornado watch one more time if we can. Pretty much all of the area under the tornado watch and it may be a long night if he's really good going and the cat breaks. So that tornado watch is in effect until midnight tonight. Once again, I'm Kevin Selly along with meteorologist Brian Rupp, meteorologist Eric Johnson in the Channel 3 Weather Center. We're going to take a quick break, come back with the 5 o'clock news. We are watching this. Any tornado warning that is issued once again will break back in. Thanks for staying with us.